And September is National Suicide Prevention Month, and it's a time to remember the lives lost to suicide, acknowledge the millions more who have experienced suicidal thoughts, and the many individuals, families, and communities that have been impacted by suicide. According to the CDC, these are some circumstances that increase suicide risk, previous suicide attempts, history of depression and other mental illnesses, sense of hopelessness, job and financial problems, and substance abuse. Cabrini's manager of behavioral health talks about what are some signs you can look out for and who to contact if you or someone you know needs help. It's different for every person. It could be, you know, researching ways to die, um, changes in their behavior, things that they wouldn't normally do, um, becoming, you know, impulsive or erratic, um, emotional mood swing. A good place to start is always with a provider. Start with a friend. Um, get you a good support group. Um, and if you don't know, like I said, you can always call that crisis hotline and they can direct you. And suicide doesn't discriminate. It affects everyone. Um, so you, we want to bring awareness because you never know who might be dealing with it. And you can text or call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988 if you or anyone you know might be struggling with thoughts of suicide.